It's a disease that's becoming more and more common, and the University of Alberta is making sure its pharmacy students are prepared with a unique exercise. Suling Go joins us now with more on Suling. This was a, a surprise assignment, it, very unique. It was. Yeah. The students were diagnosed with diabetes. Mm. 120 pharmacy students will spend the week pretending to have the disease that many of their future patients deal with every day. These third-year pharmacy students are about to get some bad news. You've been recently, today, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. With a blurry overhead to mimic the vision problems associated with diabetes, Professor Scott Simpson outlines their important assignment. So what we're going to do is start treatment for you guys. We're getting the students to walk in the shoes of people with diabetes in order to get a better understanding of what they feel or what they're going through. People with diabetes are among a pharmacist's most common type of patient. In Alberta, every month, more than 1,600 people are diagnosed with a chronic disease. The Lancing device, which is in Today, these future pharmacists are learning how to do things patients have to do, testing their blood sugar levels and injecting themselves with insulin needles. They'll do this twice a day for one week, plus adopt a new diet and exercise regime. I think it's a great, a great idea, because I think for pharmacists, it's really easy to sort of preach these things to our patients, you know, and have them come in and say, here are your needles, inject yourself three times a day. But we don't really have any ability to empathize with what they're going through. Helping with the lesson, Trish Copan, a pharmacist who also has type 1 diabetes. The pharmacist is your go-to person as far as what's new in the, like with needles or with insulins or with coverage. Trish says most people with the disease will see a pharmacist once a month for supplies, medications and advice. The more that other people can understand what you go through every day, the, the better it is for, for those of us dealing with it and for learning more about disease and being able to control your disease. I find that the best way to teach someone else is to, if you can actually do it your, yourself. We can kind of go through, you know, the little mistakes that we make and we can tell that to the patients. At the end of the week, students will hand in an essay, then they're cured. For real patients, life isn't so simple. Yeah, it's, it's not an easy disease to manage. I mean, you, your life changes. Um, so I can totally, totally empathize now, even after the first day, um, with, with how much of a change it is for someone. Oh, yes! <laughs> This is the sixth year of the diabetes exercise in the U of A Faculty of Pharmacy. I thought that was just such a neat idea. Mm -hmm, it so sure is. On for those yeah, it's a learning exercise. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Elaine. Yeah, thanks.